So I had a question uh, regarding like the LR. Sure. So my biggest problem with LR is the inference questions. And I always know like with inference, like you always kind of like looking for like not too strong of a language. You kind of like look for like that kind of like moderate to like weak language that just kind of like, you know, fulfills the assumption like, you know, but sometimes I can, I just kind of like get tripped up. Like, I'm not sure what to exactly look for, even though like, I know I need to cross like, if it's too strong of an inference, like I know that if it's using like, let's say like never or any like strong language, like I know that's like, that's too much for it to be the right answer choice. When it comes down to like, when I narrow that down to like two to three, I'm just kind of like, they all sound the same to me, but I just, I'm just not sure how to like pick the right correct answer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sure. Yeah. Well, you're, you're right to be asking the question because that degree of certainty in the language or the strength of the language can definitely have an impact. One thing to look for is to gravitate for necessary assumption, gravitate mm -hmm. towards more moderate language. So okay. weaker language, that's more likely to have been required by the stimulus than more extreme language would be. Okay. And then the other technique you could use is negation. Have you ever tried that? Yeah, I have. How does that work yeah, for you? I, it works well, but I feel like when I'm on like on a time crunch, like I just don't have time to kind of like just go through all the techniques that I really want to go through because I'm like, I'm just trying to like go through them. You know, like I feel like I, for me, like the first 12 questions are always like, I can get through those ones like with ease. But when it comes to like, coming on to like question 15 to like the rest of them i feel like if i get into like an inference question i spend more time on that knowing that i could just move on and like oh like the next question like two questions later could be main point which i could have like easily got the answer right but because i didn't have enough time you know it's just a domino effect that just cripples down so i hear that i hear that yeah well it makes sense that 15 would be end up would be tougher because those are meant to be the harder questions I get what you said also about multiple techniques and time crunch. How do you apply them all? Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.